Billy Boulevard, PureRomaduro.com. Also, LeafAndBarrel.com. Today we're gonna to be pairing the Romacraft Neanderthal with Masterson's 12 years aged wheat whiskey. So first up in the review is the Romacraft Neanderthal. No real standout notes. It smells like an old leather catcher's mitt. There's some toothing that's going on around the thickest part of the cigar. It's an artisan roll, beautiful roll. The, the dimensions just grab the senses. Not a very oily cigar, just oily enough with enough sheen. Beautiful minimalist label, a very blunt head. Now I'm gonna suggest that you punch this head. It's very blunt and it doesn't allow for any mistakes when you're cutting it. One of the reasons that I chose this cigar would have to be the complexity, but more important than that, the body. This is full. This is full flavor and full body. So, our pairing partner here is the Masterson's 12 year aged wheat whiskey. <sighs> Lovely. Very light, pale kind of a go. Almost has like a champagne look to it, minus the bubbles of course. Very long legs. I don't know if you can pick that up uh, from here, but it is clinging to the glass. Now that's gonna be testament to 12 years worth of aging. On the nose, you're gonna get butterscotch, a little bit of chocolate, Certainly vanilla and cream. While it may be sweet and smooth, make no mistake, this is a 100 proof, okay? This is a 100 proof wheat whiskey. So it's a lot of alcoholic heat and it punches the tongue. First flavors I'm getting are certainly gonna be caramel, butterscotch, and vanilla. Uh, the finish isn't as lingering as I'd like. Very oily. with a firm body. Today I'm wearing the Leaf and Barrel Wine and Gingham Cigar Shirt. Now, we got three separate pockets. Every pocket is specially made to hold a cigar. The material will maintain the humidity and three separate slots stop your cigars from rubbing up against each other. So they're protected and very well maintained. What a lot of people don't know though, is that the pocket uh, is hidden also by a front pocket. Now in that front pocket, I like to put my cedar spills. The cedar spills to me are just a more elegant way of lighting a cigar. So the Leaf and Barrel Cigar shirt not only will carry your cigars, but you can also put a Bovita pack in or some cedar spells. I just carry the cedar spells, put them in the front pocket, pull it out. That way I don't have to go to a lounge with a leather case, a herf, a Ziploc bag, or a lighter. I just show up with the puncher, pull this out, the cigars are right here. I know I'm early in, but the draw thus far is absolutely perfect. I'm in total control. Um, it doesn't give me too much, and it is definitely not impeded by anything going on in the construction process. As you can see, just mounds of smoke. I'm already starting to experience how the cigar is coming into its own. Now, what do I love about this cigar? Eight different tobacco sources. Eight, a San Andreas wrapper, a Connecticut broadleaf binder, a filler, which is where all the magic is happening, a filler from four different regions in Nicaragua, not to mention a Dominican component and a Pennsylvanian tobacco as well. That's eight different sources blended into this cigar, which bodes well for its complexity. Somebody was truly trying to arrive at a very intricate and specific flavor profile when they blended this cigar. The Masterson's Wheat Whiskey is creamy, oily, has a very smooth body. The finish is starting to linger more, but I am extremely impressed by this. Now, this is not a whiskey that you're gonna find at every liquor store. It's also part of a very special run. If you can, get your hands on it. Under 70 bucks, but worth every single penny. First third was flawless. No issues in terms of the flavor. Can't really rate the complexity until you get into the meat of the second third, but already the coffee, espresso, leather, and the wood notes. Um, just yelling out of this cigar effortlessly. I cannot muster any criticism. Smoke is creamy. The draw is fluent. The ash is holding a steady burn line. The espresso and wood notes are more pronounced now than at any point in time. But you can definitely tell that the complexity of eight different tobacco sources is front and center. If you know a group of guys that normally pair whiskey with cigars, this is a whiskey that they will enjoy. 
make no mistake about it. If you show up with a bottle of this, nine times out of 10, they haven't heard of it, and this will blow their mind. Why? Perfect body, perfect flavors, perfect texture for a cigar, especially a full body, full flavored cigar. This is a 100 proof whiskey. In terms of alcohol content, the body and the power is there. However, it's smooth and it doesn't overpower the palate in any way, form, or fashion. Now that is a feat. I don't know how you accomplish that, but they've done it here. As for the Vomacraft Neanderthal, it's just getting better and better. Salty, leather, red pepper still there. A little bit of the coffee and espresso in the background. The complexity is just incredible. I will be smoking this to the nub. Um, it's gonna be hard to find a way not to get this a damn near perfect score. I'm not one of those cigar reviewers that go hunting and pecking for an imperfection. If you're smoking a good cigar and it's not giving you anything negative, you gotta give it up. The draw itself, two points, absolutely perfect. When it comes to the taste, I could have gotten a little bit of a sweeter note to balance out the coca, the, the red pepper, the saltiness, the espresso, and the leather, and a little bit of the wood notes. A sweet note would have really made that perfect, but I'm gonna give it a solid 1.9 points. When it comes to the complexity, I'm giving it two points. It was a wild ride. As you go from the first to the second to the last third, you get a, a melody, a symphony of flavor. I'm giving this cigar a solid and well-deserved 9.6 points. When it comes to the Mastersons, you're gonna get a very mature, elegant, and sophisticated whiskey out of this. I'm thinking that it's one of the best new whiskeys that I've ran across. I'm certainly gonna be looking for a lot more wheat whiskeys to complement this. I already love rye, I already love bourbon. This is a good twist. One thing you're gonna love about it is the price point. Again, under 70 bucks, but it has a lot of body and it's very complex. Very firm, the flavors are incredible. Butterscotch, vanilla, minty, floral, caramel as well. With a decent and firm finish. Great whiskey, great cigar. Billy Boulevard, PureRomador.com, also LeafAndBarrel.com. Be sure to subscribe to the website. Also at the same time, be sure to check out the Cigar Fashion blog, over and out.